name's Rivers Corbett. Um, I'm the co-founder of Rivers Gourmet Burgers, and, but I'm also an entrepreneur. Uh, I've been kind of doing my own thing now for, oh my gosh, about uh, 17 years. Uh, but relish is really the one that has got my attention, my, my heart today because of what we're growing. We're building four locations out west right now, uh, one in the United States, and you know we're talking about the UK. And uh, you know that'll start it with a dream. That was cool, right out here out of Fredericton. I also have, uh, my wife is, is Monique, she's, uh, she's a great nurse and uh, has got uh, amazing, amazing talent in that whole nursing field. I got three kids, uh, Ashley's 20, she's in Europe right now studying French, and two 16 year old twins, boy and a girl, Jamie and Haley. I'm an entrepreneur and I love it, I love it. I love the city, you know, I love the people, I love the culture, I love the scene, I love hanging out with uh, people like Joel Thompson and uh, just doing awesome things. It's, uh, it's, it's just, uh, I'm a pretty blessed guy. I'd be foolish if I didn't say business doesn't inspire me. It, it really does. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that the business is business is small, medium-sized businesses, and my own businesses are really the essence to society. And so, what inspires me is is one uh, helping businesses get some respect in, in the world. Behind the closed doors, I've had lots of troubles. I've had depression. You know, I've been, I've had financial issues. I've had marital issues. All those things that people go through, but from the outside, people look in and say, "Oh, you never go through that stuff." This is going to sound uh, like a really cliche answer, but I'm going to tell you the hidden gem that we have in our city is our mayor, and I really mean that sincerely because great cities, great businesses, great nonprofits are created from great leadership. And Brad Woodside has been a fantastic leader. Even though you might disagree with some of the stuff that he does or doesn't do or says or what he says, he is a guy that has put Fredericton on an international landscape. The director answer is go figure it out because you're wasting time if you don't do it. But the, the bigger answer it has to go, there's a great book called The Five Regrets of People When On Their Deathbed. And one of those biggest, one of those main regrets is people that said, I wish I had it done this. I wish I had it done. And I wish I had it done. And that all relates back to regrets that they didn't do in life. And I see a ton of people who say, I can't wait till I retire. People say, good for you. And my, my thinking is, you got three years ahead of you. What are you going to do? Waste your time for three years? And that's what too many people do. They wait too much for tomorrow and they forget about today. And today is what you need to be happy in. It's stupid if you don't give attention. It's a waste of your life, your God given life, your God given gift of life, if you do not focus in on trying to discover what that passion is. It's okay if you don't find it, but as long as you're trying to find it, I think 99% of the time you'll find it. I'm a firm believer that, uh, you know, that old Zig Ziglar or Jim Rohn saying, if you, the best way to get ahead in life is you just give to other people and you get more than anything you want back. So, so, uh, so yeah, that's it's a little bit about me. And did I mention I love the New England Patriots? <laughs>